Vice Chancellor Professor Segir Adamu Abbas, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics Professor M.S. Gumel, the Registrar Malam Jamil Ahmad Salim, the University Librarian Dr. Musa Auda Awiyu, the Director Vice Chancellor's Office Malam Sharif Ahmad, Mr. Vice Chancellor Sir, here before you are members of Class 1989 Forum who are here to pay a courtesy call on the university management. Every year, the forum visits the university management and graciously does out some token amount meant for indigenous students for Bayre University Kanu. Before I invite the chairman of the forum to tell the vice chancellor the purpose of the visit, Permit me, sir, to invite the PRO, Professor uh, PRO, Mokhtar Lawaranu, to kindly introduce members of the forum. Malam Mokhtar. Awuz Billahi Sabil Alim, Mina Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. The Vice Chancellor, sir, uh, all protocols are duly observed. With your permission, let us make a good use of the, the tradition, the tradition of self introduction. Uh, I'm starting from my left hand, then to the right, so that uh, every member can introduce himself by himself. Uh, Chairman, sir. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Kadir Jujuri Ringil. I work with the Ahmad Vela University area. My name is uh, Lawan Sayedi. I'm the managing consultant of uh, Trisby Consult Limited. Then to the right. My name is Muhammad Modestri Hussain. I'm working with Federal University Dusi. I'm Abdullah Ibrahim, working with American Teaching Hospital Kano. My name is Adit Shio Memota, working with College of Art, Science and Remedial Study, formerly Kaskan. My name is Muramat Naj, and I'm working with the IMD Tamar Media Cassie from the Ministry of Women and Arts. My name is Kadir Nisabu, working with Federal University Kano. So let me say finally, and most importantly, I am Mukhtar Lawan. <laughs> the PR of the forum uh, from the Auto University of Education Composer Academy, uh, about to be a university, inshallah. <laughs> it's my singular honor and privilege to invite the leader of the forum, Professor Katrina Jindri, to the Vice Chancellor for the visit. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. It is an honor for me on behalf of the UK class 1989 to lead the representative members to a call visit to the Vice Chancellor and the principal officers of our University Kano. The call visit is part of our annual reunion activity. Once more, sir, please accept our warmest congratulations on your appointment and other principal officers. We wish you all the best for your endeavors. Sir, stepping into a new position as DC is an exciting thing, and I'm delighted that you have, the, you have this opportunity. Your experience, skill, passion, dedication, and hard work are the ingredients that went into this initial success. We salute your effort in sustaining the UK massive transformation and rapid increase in the student intake. You should also actively work to promote an enabling environment for academic and non-academic staff to excel in your tenure in order to realize the vision of higher university to live in Africa. Sir, we are here to demonstrate our firm belief in paying back to our alma mater. We receive so much in both formal and informal education, educational training during our four years rigorous learning in Bayero University, Kano. Therefore, I'm announcing a donation of 500,000 Naira only toward a scholarship to indigent students who could not afford to settle their school fees. We are, we are extremely proud, proud and fortunate that we have been an important part of Bayero University, Kano, and will serve will always remain in your heart forever. 
Thank you very much. Wabillahi tofi barikadaya. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Thank you very much, sir. Next is the response of the Vice Chancellor. Bismillahi wa shaitanir rajim. Bismillahi wa rahmanir rahim. Before I give my remarks, I would like to introduce uh, members or colleagues uh, from my side. On my immediate uh, left is the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, uh, Professor Mohamed Sani Gume. Uh, next to him is the Registrar of the University, uh, Malam Jamil Salim. And then next to him, is the university librarian, Dr. Musa Aoyu. Then uh, I don't know whether to introduce them to go on our side or <laughs> to be part of the side of the visiting team. Uh, Professor Ndogo is, uh, as we all know, is a member of uh, Bayer University among uh, the senior colleagues in the university, somebody who has been up and doing and uh, this time around is part of the delegation that are visiting us but it's part and parcel of DUT and uh, uh, we all know him in his area uh, both within and outside by University Canada. and then next to him is uh, 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 Sharif Ahmad is the director in this office so on behalf of the remaining members that are not here I welcome all of you to Bayer University Kano again. Uh, this has been uh, the tradition of the class of 1989, and uh, this is not the first time you have been here. Uh, you have been here before, and you made several contributions towards uh, indigent students, those who cannot afford uh, to pay uh, school fees. Uh, and this has been the tradition worldwide, and uh, any progressive society uh, you meet or you see, you find that uh, uh, graduates of the university come back to pay in terms of helping others who cannot afford uh, uh, to pay for education. This will go a long way uh, to assist the students and uh, you are also contributing to reducing the number of uh, uneducated uh, people we have in Nigeria. Uh, we hope uh, this gesture will continue and uh, you have many ways apart from contributing money uh, in your places of work or where you know other people in other sectors uh, Bayer University Kano is reaching out in different ways uh, to do a lot of things within Nigeria, within Kano so apart from donation of money you can also add value by influencing anything to happen in the university apart from this uh, good thing you are doing by providing uh, a certain amount of money to cater for students who cannot afford uh, to pay for their school fees. There are many other ways where alumni of the university can contribute to the university system. Uh, in your places of work, for example, uh, you may influence for a particular issue to be, you know, to be brought to Bayer University Canada, just where you are. And uh, you may also need to uh, understand that uh, we have other things, anything you want as former graduates of the university, as people that have been contributing to the success of education of others. Uh, you can always come to the university management. We are willing and our doors are open for any assistance we may render to you also individually or collectively as class of 89. Uh, uh, on behalf of uh, my colleagues, I welcome uh, all of you and uh, we thank you most sincerely uh, for the donation of 500,000 which you give i think this will cover how many students to cover uh i don't know whether we may need to raise the um, 50 is fifty thousand made per student so so this will cover uh about 10 uh students which will be something that uh will go a long way to assist the students we are trying this maybe next session to review it upwards because of course of living 
the 50,000 Naira has been there for for very long time and the uh, cost of living has changed and we know uh, the amount of money students require to stay on campus is more than what is there. So maybe next session we may review it upward. So on behalf of uh, uh, my colleagues, uh, I, I thank you uh, very much for your uh, contribution and for your visit. And uh, Professor Kabiru, I think uh, in ABU, I don't know, I have lived, I, I'm a graduate of ABU, but we never met there. Uh, though we are in different uh, faculties and areas, I think you are in business administration. Uh -huh. Yes, so even uh, I was in ABU recently. Yes, and we have been with the VC for quite some time in the last two, three weeks. Yes, so we thank you very much for your time and for leading the delegation uh, to visit us. And we hope this will continue. Uh, uh, another thing we want to do is we want to come up with a database to track our students wherever they are. You know, those who have graduated in the past and the present. Uh, once we have that database, that will give us a clue to be tracking down those graduates of Bayero University Kano. Because uh, alumni relations is now a very significant component in running the university system. And we need to know and track down wherever our students are in, around the world. This will assist us greatly in many ways which is beyond financial so we are trying to do that and uh, when we make advance in that area we are going to share with you uh, the database so that you can add to the list and then contribute to what uh, we are doing so on behalf of my colleagues and the entire Bayer University community especially the students I thank you most sincerely for your contribution and may God Almighty Allah continue to reward you abundantly for what you have been doing thank you Thank you very much, sir. That has been the Vice Chancellor of Bayer University, Kano Professor Figir Adam Abbas. So I don't know whether we can go ahead with the agenda given to me, that there will be general discussions and from the ex executives who can just go ahead to invite the Secretary to give us a vote of thanks. Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor, Mr. Figir Adam Abbas, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic Register, a librarian, my colleague. Uh, good morning. Um, I think um, this is the first time the the team is meeting with the vice chancellor. Last year, I was the fortune to be part of the team. We met with the DV, two DVCs all around. They stood in for the vice chancellor, so, and I think that is why the. The chairman is still congratulating the vice chancellor for, for the appointment. This is the first time the team is meeting with you. I think one interesting thing about the um, vice chancellor in relation to uh, this um, alumni effort is that he was the first director of advancement office of Gary in Vatican. He developed the idea, recommended it to the vice chancellor then, and the vice chancellor then challenged him to be the director of the unit. And I knew the challenges he had faced in establishing it. Um, the unit was supposed to be the, the, the mobilizer of all the alumni, and then to start developing the alumni right from the school. Because that is what um, universities that have made progress using alumni have been doing. They don't wait until they produce the student to go out and then start inviting them to come and assist the university. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Professor Mundabu. He has uh, raised uh, important uh, issues or points regarding alumni but let me just take some two minutes to elaborate uh, yes he was right uh, we have been discussing the role of uh, alumni in the university uh, system 
So for the last uh, 10 years, uh, from the time I was uh, director to this point, I think uh, BUG has made uh, tremendous progress regarding alumni relations. Number one, uh, you may have participated in it. Uh, there was general meeting of alumni in BUK this week. It was held in Bayero University, Kano, I think, on 20th or 21st, on Saturday, I think, yes. Uh, this meeting, we have been arranging for it for the last one year. Uh, God so kind, it took place this week. Uh, in addition to this uh, long-term plan, I sourced for funds and I got capital project to build a befitting alumni office. The building is now in progress. So there is going to be a befitting office where all our alumni relations matters will be held. All our general meetings of alumni will be taking place there. Uh, the first thing we need to do is if we want to make alumni relations better, then we need to have a space for it. So I sought for funds and I got a capital project on that. So they are building a brand new state-of-the-art alumni office uh, in BUK, which will now coordinate all the activities of uh, alumni relations. Um, number two, we have been trying our best, even in the last uh, Senate meeting I had, I emphasized to all Senate members that uh, we need to change our ways of handling students. And uh, the best way to handle students is to make students to be happy when they are students in the university. I've been saying this for many years. I said it in the last Senate. So treating students and giving them positive experiences will make the student to remember the university when they graduate. But anytime a student got a degree in a hard way, with difficulty, with hardship, with the struggle, and the student's case or his, his feelings were never considered when he was a student. So that particular student, when he graduated, he would never look back on the university. The university has been working on that. Uh, we have been talking about this for a while. And uh, part of the reason is we want to improve our visibility as a university. You may have recalled that uh, in the last world ranking of uh, universities in the world, uh, Bayer University can be featured very well. Uh, we made deliberate attempt by sinking in funds. So BUK became the fourth university in Nigeria after Lagos, after Ibadan, after Covenant. We are number four in Nigeria. And uh, Bayer University, in terms of uh, ranking around the world, we are number 1,016 worldwide. So if you are to rank all the universities in the world, we are number 1,016. So the university made deliberate attempt in the last two years to do a lot of things that will improve the image of the university. And part of the image improvement is we want to be giving students good experiences when they are students in the university. And give them experiences that they will remember. I remember very well when we were students when we were students, we never cook. We go to cafeteria, uh, pay, buy our tickets, eat our meals, and go to classes. We never wash our clothes. There was, there were laundry services when we were students here, but all these services are no longer available now. I'm just returning from a foreign trip. Uh, part of what we discuss there, uh, we are trying to see what we can do to bring back these services to students. One, we want to bring back the cafeteria uh, uh, services uh, so that students can go, those who can afford it, will have befitting and decent meal to go and buy and continue with their studies. And at the same time, we want to invest and see we bring back the laundry services in the university system. Because I remember very well, those were the good things that made me particularly myself to remember my days as students now if students don't have decent places to go and eat they don't have a place where they go and do their laundry 
And worst case scenario, students don't have toilets where they can go and ease themselves. Then we are not giving them what we are supposed to, to give them. So we are trying to see what we can do in that direction. And uh, we this week or immediately after this Christmas break, we are going to I'm going to set up a committee that will make a submission regarding laundry services and uh, the cafeteria. Uh, we are going to start one in all campus, one here, but it's going to be purely on economic basis. Uh, there is not going to be any subsidy. We just want to make sure we provide food. Students, those who can afford, can go and buy decent meal and then have campus life, just like any other university around the world. Because the university we went in Oxford this week is a university like any other university, and they provide meal. Students go to the cafeteria, buy their meal ticket and buy we are not talking about any subsidy. And because of this issue of subsidy, that is what is killing a lot of initiatives. But there are students who are willing to pay. If we have decent meal, you have laundry services, some are willing to pay and get these services done. But if we remove them completely, you find that at the end of the day, the student, when they are recalling their stay on campus, these are the things that they recall. And you see, those of us who were here, uh in the 80s you remember there were a lot of social activities on campus that will make you to remember uh the campus life but now you find that uh, students are busy with cooking busy with the, even if you are cooking your meal now as a student you have to stay and guard it otherwise the whole the stove the food and the fire will be taken away if you wash your clothes you have to guard your clothes this are, the situation has changed so we need to give back this kind of feelings to students and uh, we are going to do that inshallah recently. And finally regarding uh, treating students well like uh, Nandogo has raised and uh, assessing lecturers. We, 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 I think registrar, we have factored that in the assessment. We have done that already. Uh, students have input uh, on lecturers coming and that is why you find that uh, uh, where lecturers are absent or they come late for lectures, we get to know because we have students that are informing us who is not coming on lectures at a time. And uh, personally, myself, DBC Academics, we, we make contact with the lecturers. Sometimes they, they are surprised when we call them and say, you have a class and you are already 30 minutes, 20 minutes late and the students are waiting for you. So this has already been factored in the assessment for promotion. Although we made a lot of resistance, but uh, uh, it should be part of uh, the system. Because this issue of student assessing lecturers is a requirement for certain engagement with certain universities abroad. Some universities will not even engage with you if you don't have this kind of assessment. So already we have already factored that in our system. And uh, part of the assessment we received this year in terms of ranking around the world, part of the reason why we rank high is because of that because students they, they ask students they, they, they from there from uk they sent questionnaires to students and the student filled the questionnaire and returned it to them they did that and that is why we we are ranked high in fact our social what do you call the other components um uh, what do you call it outlook national out international outlook or something we rank the best in nigeria um, we rank high in nigeria uh, outlook of the university because that factored student interaction, student input in the assessment of lecturers. So that one gave us an advantage and that was why we rank very high, more than ABU. I'm sorry, Prof. Uh, ABU is our mother. Uh, I told the I told the VC, you are our mother, but uh, you know, we, we factored this. So all the leading universities, first generation, the only two that are ahead of us are only Ibadan and Lagos. They are the only ones that are ahead of us. We are ahead of all the rest. So we have factored that and uh, we continue to do that. Uh, when we finish our arrangement for PG program, we are building a brand new postgraduate school, very big, and uh, it's going to, uh, you know, we are going to change our PG outlook completely in the sense that we want to be seen as a university graduating students on time. Uh, so as the physical structure is going on, we are coming up with a policy that will regulate our PG programs so that 
our aim and target will be to be graduating students on time. BUK has a special position now. In all the universities in Northwest, Bayer University has an advantage of uh, PG programs. So we want to strengthen our PG programs because we are surrounded by many universities and they will be looking forward to us for PG training. So we want to strengthen that and then we see our future as a university in PG programs, not undergraduate. So that is why we are strengthening the PG program. Uh, the structure has already commenced. Uh, we got input huge amount of money from federal uh, capital project. And we are building the new PG school, which is very mighty. And we are going to have, at the same time, having many defenses taking place in different departments at the same time. So this is what we want to be. So we want to possibly be graduating students on time. And uh, this, I believe, will take us forward and it will increase our alumni uh, uh, relations with all our graduates. So with this, I think I did maybe, I was very short in giving you the, the description of what we are doing in relation to what you raised. But I feel it's important to inform you that uh, on all the aspects you raised, we are working on that. We are building an office. Students are assessing lecturers. We are improving. We are now working. I think we should finalize it before next session, registrar, that students can get their transcripts. I don't know why we make issuance of transcript to be something secretive. It shouldn't be. It's somebody's entitlement. Somebody's result. Somebody work for something. Why should we make it a secret or he should not be given his transcript? So we are working now to make students to produce his own transcript in his own bedroom. We don't need to make it any secret anymore. Once you follow, we are going to have it electronically covered and you cannot make any changes to it. Once you make the payment, then you'll be given the code where you can produce your transcript and you cannot alter it. And you don't need to, you don't need to make it secret again. Because I know from my experience when I finished my first degree, looking for my master's and PhD from ABU, you know, they said they will not give you a transcript, they will send it to the person who's... It's not, it's not something that is secret. It's, it's your own result. It's detailed part of your performance. Uh, the people you are going to work for or you are going to get admission from are the ones that are interested in the breakdown of your performance. To know your areas of strength and weaknesses. That's all. So we are no longer going to be making it a secret. So if you pay, and uh, we have developed the software, so we, if you pay and uh, you follow all the regulations, you get your transcript anywhere in the world. You don't need to make it to come here physically because we know many students lost jobs, many students lost admissions because they could not be given their transcript. So we are, we are far in that and uh, it will soon be a history. People can access their own transcript anywhere. And get it um, get it done so thank you very much uh, for taking much of your time uh, we wish you safe journey back to your uh, destination thank you very much thank you very much sir for shedding more light on alumni relations of Bayer University Kano next let me invite the secretary of the forum Lao Sayedi to give us a vote of thanks and closing prayer as well and shortly afterwards we're going to have a group photograph inside the vice chancellor's office thank you Uh, Mr. BC and the management team, I think today for us at uh, the BBK 89 Forum is a special day. Uh, like uh, Professor Andago said, we have been here, I think this is our third time of coming here twice, we met your absence. And uh, the information we got this time around that you insisted that you want to receive us personally, which Alhamdulillah. You did. Another advantage of this, uh, of meeting you personally today is we had so many insights into what you and your team are doing for the university. Alhamdulillah, every year when we come in, uh, most of our colleagues, especially those from the southern part of the country, become more appreciative of the developments being observed at the old campus and the new site. I think this is a tradition that should be sustained by any other management of university. Uh, on behalf of uh, my colleagues, we thank you for receiving us. 
And then, inshallah, like you prayed, we're going to continue to be visiting you every year because normally each December we used to have a reunion meeting. And we had uh, our dinner and then we'll pay you a courtesy call like this one. Inshallah, we'll continue that and we'll keep on assisting uh, our younger ones so that they can be well educated. Thank you very much. Two combine? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.